The group boasts more than 40 members who come to this airfield in Purvis to test and fly their pet projects. Expecto Patronum! We are here at the Grand Theater in Hattiesburg for the midnight premiere of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. And even though the weather is bad and there is no spell that can undo it, these fans are here and dedicated and wanting to see this film. So right now we're going to speak to a few. It's building hope from the ground up as Home and Garden Television, along with the local contracting crew, help out one pedal family ravaged by February's tornado. All right, I'm here at the dreaded ravine battle. You can hear behind me the most terrifying instrument of all, the bagpipes playing. And everyone from all the land has gathered here to watch two teams fight to the death. What's going to happen is that the two teams will meet in the middle and then separate and that's when the battle begins. Consumers are rejoicing in the bills passing but won't be able to tap the keg until July 1st when it becomes law. Join me, Mercer Morrison, as I go on the road to discover interesting places you may not have known about. Tune in every Wednesday in February for my special four-part series in your own backyard. Gotta go. here at the Grand Theater in Hattiesburg for the midnight premiere of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. And even though the weather is bad and there is no spell that can undo it, these fans are here and dedicated and wanting to see this film. So right now we're going to speak to a few of them. What do you want to get out of this uh, movie tonight? Have you read the books? And I'm really excited about it, but at the same time, it's for anyone who's a real hardcore Harry Potter fan, it's kind of a saddening time. It's the closing of a great chapter in literature and in film. I just want to make sure that they ended it right and, you know, stuck true to the story. Because if not, then it's just going to be really depressing. What, what are you wearing tonight? Well, tonight I'm wearing just a normal Death Eater attire. I put together some black clothing. I grabbed one of my good jackets for a good hood. So it gave me black and it can hide. And then I just put over one of my trench coats. I want the next two hours to be, well, from 12 to 2 to be amazing. I am wearing a pillowcase. You heard it here. Even the homeless have decided to show up to the Harry Potter premiere. What does it mean to you? It's like the last one, you know? What, what does that mean? It's a very emotional time for me. I'm probably going to come out of this thing crying, like bawling. You have a, a, a unique shirt. Look at that. Cool. Would That's you pretty. Would you want to go out on a date with her? Oh, definitely. If you did, where would you take her? Cabin in the mountains. Very romantic. Uh, what is, does this mean to you? You know, like this is the last one. You know, what, what does it mean? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> this just ends. Somebody stole my wand. I'm Mercer Morrison for Seven on Your Side. In the faraway land of Lumberton, in a time long ago. Okay, this week, 3,000 members stage a medieval reenactment called Gulf Wars, also known as a war with no enemies. The festival is one of five major wars organized by the Society for Creative Anachronism, an organization with approximately 30,000 members who stage similar events around the country in which people take part in wearing and making period clothing, weaponry, blacksmithing, carpentry, and much more. People come from all around the country for this event, and everyone has their own story of how they got involved. I watched a movie with Heath Ledger, A Knight's Tale, and they were in the Knight's Ring, and I was like, man, that looks like fun. And my wife says, well, that's what they do in the SCA. And I was like, well, where do I sign up? My twin sister met people who did this in college, and she's been playing for a number of years. And when I, I came in, it was a lot of fun being mistaken for someone who had done this for so long. And I was quickly told, you need a persona, you need to get involved. The next thing I knew, he says, Mom, that fighting looks like fun. It, it's getting involved in people who are so interested in history. They're interested not just in what went on in the history books, not just what battle took place where, but what did they wear? What, what do all these symbols mean? What does it mean to have a different fighting style? Whatever you were interested in, there is something here for you. Members get into characters with different names and some take it a step further. They are, they're Caledonian. They are, these are Latane swirls. This is uh, actually a border from the Book of Kells. I'm just really into my persona, and it's my, it's my heritage as well. I'm, I'm Scottish. Members are quick to point out that the SEA events are not Renaissance festivals or live-action role-playing. The emphasis is on historical accuracy and education about the time period. You'll see blacksmiths hammering away, weavers creating clothes, and carpenters turning wood into houses. Construction methods of this were, were started to be used in the uh, 
8th, 9th, and 10th century all the way through the late uh, 19th and into the early 20th century. But you can't have a festival called War With No Enemies without a little war. All right, I'm here at the dreaded ravine battle. You can hear behind me the most terrifying instrument of all, the bagpipes playing. And everyone from all the land has gathered here to watch two teams fight to the death. What's going to happen is that the two teams will meet in the middle and then separate, and that's when the battle begins. For more information about the Gulf Wars, you can go to their website at www.golfwars.org. I'm Mercer Morrison for 7 on Your Side. It's building hope from the ground up as Home and Garden Television, along with the local contracting crew, help out one pedal family ravaged by February's tornado. We kind of saw it as a, as a blessing, as a gift. Jeff and Ashley West's house was destroyed by the tornado earlier this year. That's when Jeff's sister entered them into a lottery for Catastrophe Inc. on HGTV, a new show about a team of designers and builders helping families in need after natural disasters. When the couple was selected, that's when HGTV stepped in. Jeff and Ashley really stuck out to us. Jeff, he's very involved in the community. He's a youth minister at a local church, and Ashley is also a student. Um, she's going to be a counselor as well for the youth. We just love them. They're dynamic, fun, sweet, young couple, newly married, just starting their lives together and we thought it could be really great to come in and help them get back on their feet. Construction on the new home started early Friday morning and is expected to be completed this Wednesday, a feat that head contractor and friend Brad Baggett says he couldn't have done without his crew. The people are just amazing, very supportive, um, and it's just been amazing. It's not me, it's my crew, man. They have been awesome. We basically have had a lot of things go our way, and we're way ahead of schedule. We worked around the clock. I'm working on about two hours of sleep right now. <laughs> the new home will include the usual surfaces, countertops, and all the trimmings, but it will also include a storm shelter in the backyard, able to hold up to 10 people. Details of the home have been kept from the West since the beginning and has the couple anxious for the reveal. We're anxious a little bit. Um, we know that uh, Wednesday is probably going to have a lot of emotion tied in with it, that will be, you know, we'll have a lot of joy and, you know, we'll, the biggest thing though will be being back at our home and we're just really excited about that part. There has been an outpouring of community involvement in this project. Everyone from the West's Church's youth group up to complete strangers just wanting to lend a hand and many say the couple deserves it. They are so involved in the community and they've done so much to help other people and pedal in the Hattiesburg area rebuild. I hope that this kind of gives them a sense of comfort and security moving back into their own home and getting their lives started together again. I'm Mercer Morrison for 7 on Your Side.